All right, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> First video on the F-14 here, as far as build goes. Um, I went ahead and started with putting the turbine and everything in, just because it's the biggest pain in the butt for me. Um, so that being said, this is kind of a difficult area to work. You can kind of see. Uh, I have a man. I got the pipes mounted and everything, but the pipes. It's hard to see, but. So I can get a light up in there. Eh, it's not gonna work. Anyways, well, there's a tab. Let me get my light turned off here. There is a tab on the back side of this pipe. Let me take these off. All right. All right. You can see. Here's the tab. Yeah. So you can see it. But there you go. That tab pushes up against this and then on the rails, at the end of the rails, there's two little mounts with two holes in it and then you got two screws that come off the bell mouth that kind of insert into those. That is the intention or that's the intent of the way that's supposed to be installed but when you push it straight into the back, which would be super easy, uh, this tab is like way out here and it's got to be flush pretty much with this back. Um, with this piece right here and uh, so what I did was push the bell mouth uh, past it and kind of come in this, at this side so I went ahead and put the bolts on the rails facing forward and then I just pushed the pipe in uh, get it lined up with the, the the bolts and then pull it back over the the bolts that are sticking forward and then you just screw screw some lock nuts on the front of it which holds it back against that, which is actually even better because this now is really not doing anything for you because the pipe is pulling on those mounts where it's mounted so it's secure in the front. This is just to keep it from, uh, you know, the way they intended it. You just push those tabs in and this holds it forward uh, against those mounts. But since I've got bolts on it holding it in at the front, this is kind of a mute point now. But it actually works out better because the pipe doesn't stick out of the turkey out of the exhaust nozzle or the turkey feathers uh, like it would if you put it on the back side. Uh, something else that people I don't know if most people when you build one of these you do have an out thrust at the end of each pipe it basically bends out and you got to be careful how you put them um, so the thrust bend goes out so if you lose a turbine it helps compensate uh, for the, the loss of a turbine. Uh, they're supposed to be marked. Mine wasn't marked which one was which. And you have to be careful because the bend out is not exactly at the 9 o'clock position. It's, you can either, the way it mounts into the, the front, it's either going to be at the 8 or the 10 o'clock position, uh, which is still pretty good. So I chose the, uh, the 8. And you kind of see there based on where the tab is but it is a pain to get everything in there and uh, especially get it lined up there's no good way to line that turbine up uh, the, it sits a little higher than the actual pipe center but once you bolt it down and everything everything snugs down and it it seems to be lined up pretty good um, so with the 170's where I have the, uh, the mounts, it makes it a little hard to get into these and get these drilled. Um, you do have to trim, trim the actual, uh, it's already in, uh, the mount itself for the turbine because if the normal, as it comes, it's too wide and it hits, hits the inside wall. So you have to trim off about, uh, about that much of the actual mount. Not a big deal. I already had holes drilled for another turbine, anyways, another jet, anyways. So uh, and that is that. And let's see. Uh, so as it sits, I'm going for um, a half inch to three quarters, which is what they recommend for the King Tex. Uh, and when you do that, you're sitting right about there. So you've got plenty of room probably another quarter inch or so you can actually move it forward uh, if you need to so 
with the 170s I'm not having any issues uh, I won't have to trim anything in here uh, so that's working out so I went ahead got the holes marked for this one I've got that one in as well I just gotta mark uh, the holes line it up mark the holes for the screws to hold the turbine in uh, the bad thing about this is the only way to get the turbines in and out is to take this inner rail out you basically you loosen the screws you drop it down here and then you can kind of get the turbine out uh, with this turbine anyways this size turbine you can't get it out with this rail uh, in here and you just can't pull it through because this bulkhead is not shaped good enough to get the entire turbine out if you had a small turbine it might go through there so don't hard mount that inside rail uh, because you're going to, to pull these things out for maintenance and stuff so but anyways that's about it so far um, I gotta run I'm actually gonna run down down to Nashville check out a hobby shop and then uh, I'll be back this afternoon to get going um, like I said I'm just gonna finish up hard mounting these getting these lined up um, that's kinda like the goal today this one's almost done that one is in I just gotta center it on the pipe and get the gap I'm just gonna take something like you know this is about a half inch wide I'm just gonna drop it in and push it to get the uh, against the uh, the bell mouth, and then push the turbine back until it hits this, and that'll give me my gap. So, which is what I did with this one already. But even if you hard mount it, you can just loosen your clamp and slide your turbine in and back and forth on the clamp itself until you get the gap you need, uh, which is pretty much what I did. Uh, in retrospect, I wish I would have put the mount further forward, just so I could have gotten easier access to these screws but once they're drilled uh, it'll be a little I got a little tool that I can put in there and tighten the screws with uh, so we'll see worst case I have to push the mount forward drill two new holes um, and everything so anyways you guys take it easy and uh, I'll get back to more uh, videos and pictures later take it easy